What is up, YouTube? This is Nanashi with the first ever episode of a little show I like to call The Request. Ah, the gladiator beasts. Do you remember this archetype? And the hellscape it brought to the meta of this card game? I do. This deck's been relevant since the very beginning of when it was released, up until Pendulum became a thing. The deck is very linear in its moveset. You battle, you swap them out, you get awesome effects during your main phase too. But the deck itself has gone back and forth between meta, not meta, and anti-meta near constantly since its first arrival. But there was one support card that this deck had that never ever saw the light of day. Or at least I never saw it. And that card was Witch Doctor of Sparta. This is Sparta! And the main reason is because even though it's support, it's technically not support. They did not give it the iconic Gladiator Beast name. If they had done that, this card might have seen a ton of use, because its effect is what makes it good, quote unquote. Whenever you special summon a monster from the deck, and that's main deck only by the way, your opponent takes 500 damage. Could you imagine the possibilities if this card was actually a gladiator beast monster? But unfortunately, it went to the wayside because it didn't have the name. However, people have strived to try and make decks based around the idea of summoning this and a bunch of other monsters from the deck, one after another, until they were able to peg their opponent for enough damage to get a win. A lot of times, the people who actually went through all this effort ended up getting a one-turn kill maneuver. This was actually a fun challenge, making a deck based around a single monster instead of a theme or archetype. And here is my version of the build. The variant of this deck that I ran, that I personally had the most success with, ran three UFO Roid, two Hecatrice, three UFO Turtle, three Nova Summoner, three Shining Angel, three of our main man Witch Doctor of Sparta, three Unmasked Dragon, three Pulao, and three Chi Wen. The spell trap lineup was three Magical Mallet, three Infernal Reckless Summon, three Valhalla, three Rainbow Life, and two Spirit Barrier. It's not meant to be meta, it's not meant to be anti-meta, it's not, it's not meant to be anything serious. This is clearly a fun deck. But if you feel like playing a fun little deck that gets enough damage to claim you a win during the second round, or possibly even the third if you can survive that long, be my guest. Thanks for tuning in to the first ever episode of The Request. Hopefully you guys liked what you saw, and maybe you'll tune in for the next episode.